Hello everyone. Today I will be reviewing the amazing uh, features of the Bachmann Schnabel car, the retort load one, and its length reaches almost three feet. It's around 33 inches. As we all know, the longer the car, the broader curve it needs, and it cannot make some tight curves. For example, Walters Proto passenger cars cannot go below 24 inch curve. Bachmann uh, locomotives, the six axles and, uh, well, most six axles, uh, axles locomotives, they cannot navigate curves below 22 inches. And here I have a Bachmann Schnabel car up to a challenge. Marklin, what they classify as industrial curve, which is 11.6 inches radius, measured from the center of the track. And um, obviously very few locomotives can um, do this one and they are very short locomotives and very few even European cars can do it. But here's the Schnabel car challenge. Will it make it considering unlimited rotation of its trucks and bolsters? And now we start rolling challenge. As this car leaves the straight, the center of the um, retort cylinder already off the track and it's now 45 degrees um, through the curve by the fir first bolster and now it's off the track further now the um, uh, end tracks touch 90 degree of the curve which is halfway now the central bolster touches the perpendicular arc and now we go further, will there be enough span uh, enough span for the curve to fit entire car? It fit! Amazing! It fit on the curve. Obviously, no industry is nothing to be placed here if it expects to serve this kind of cars. And obviously this is not a railroad curve. This is more like um, a streetcar curve and um, even this is considered very tight. And um, if it happens only in uh, tight European historic cities. Thank you for watching. If you like this video challenge, subscribe for more rail finding and uh, model review updates. Thank you.